let's have a look at <coughs> Apple's photos. There we go, up in the top. Let me turn my cursor on so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, there we go, photos. That's showing up on there, very good. Now, how can you use photos with Affinity Photos? You don't need Lightroom. The point being that I'm trying to avoid using Lightroom. So let's have a look, it's simple. Open Photos. You can see I've got everything in nice little albums there. Movies, material, book covers, 123RF, deposit photos, online class images, all sorts of interesting things. Not too much in there. Book covers, iMovie material, lots of interesting things in there. Doesn't matter what we select for, the, for this exercise. This is deposit photos. Now I want to be able to edit one of these in, IMO, in um, Affinity Photos because really I'm actually trying to get rid of anything Adobe. Now simple, edit with Affinity Photos. Does it work? We're waiting. Hello, and there it is, down the bottom, bouncing away. And it will eventually open up. Here it comes. One, two, three. You might have a faster computer than I've got, but this one will do. Close that. There's our image. Look at that. And you've got all of this wonderful stuff. Now, how simple was that? Who needs Photoshop when you've got Affinity Photos? At a tenth of the price, a millionth of the price, even at eight, well, what is it, eight pounds a month, nearly nine pounds a month I'm paying, 12 nines are 108 pounds, English pounds, a year I'm paying for the pleasure of using Photoshop and Lightroom. Well, you don't need either of them because what you've got is photos, my albums, there's all sorts of albums in there. What you've got is photos and affinity photos. Couldn't be easier. Is it possible to send it to any of the other affinity programs I have? My albums? No, I don't want my albums, do I? Let's go to that. Okay, right click, edit with. Ooh, there's dark table, others. Well, of course, we can go to Affinity Publisher, Photo Designer. Now, you'll notice, of course, straight away, the sharp eyed people will, that I've got Photoshop, Bridge, I've got lots of Adobe stuff on here. Well, I've got to tell you, I'd really like to get rid of it. Because, I mean, who wants it? Let's see if we can open it with Designer. Now, Designer is very good. Is Designer bobbing up and down? And there it goes down on the status bar, bobbing up and down. Too easy. Affinity Designer. And close. And there it is, open in, in Affinity Designer. Very nice, I have to say. Let me close that. Quit. Yep. Let me close Affinity Photos. Oops, oops, oops. Affinity Photos. Quit. There we go. And we're back to Apple's Photos. Now, why would you bother using Lightroom? Because let's, let's face it, in reality, there's not a lot of people do their editing in Lightroom. You store your photos in Lightroom, you download them to Lightroom, you, you import them to Lightroom. If you've got an iPhone or a Mac or an iPad, if you've got photos turned on, it just imports it straight into Apple's Photos. All the storage you need, no problems at all. And the best thing about this, well, one of the really good things about this, is not only, not only can you do this with the desktop, which of course this is, 
it works just the same on an iPad. My other device is an iPad mini. Well, one of my other devices is an iPad mini. Um, my next little video will show you how it works on that. Okay, thank you very much.